my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing Galen Patchouli Ardent Air de Parfum. This is 152 pounds. The notes are rose, leather, musk, and patchouli. Do we have a bottles of patchouli Ardent? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. For someone who's dyslexic, these French words I do struggle with. So apologies if I kind of like uh, my dyslexia is, you know, ruining your viewing pleasure. This is the first time I think I've reviewed this house. And Phil, who does the Facebook group, my Facebook group, he told me to get this and he said it's wonderful and he loves it and all the rest of it. Let's see, I kind of, I don't know what to make of it. I kind of, this is a very old house. I'm expecting, I'm expecting a lot actually. Woody, patchouli, oriental, musk heavy. So this is quite interesting because you can smell the cleanness. And the cleanness is a, a top note musk, which smells slightly a pears and can clean, it smells quite clean with a, a smoother, softer musk. And that is the feel of this. This is obviously patchouli dominant. I mean, you want to put a patchouli fragrance out if it wasn't patchouli dominant. The rose core is just is very lovely. And that, of course, is going to be phenol ether alcohol, citronella, geranial. That is the feel in the middle. And phenol ethyl alcohol and citronella can be used to give acceleration through a formulation and a really good top note, actually. Smoky, it's got a beautiful smokiness to it, photonic smokiness to it. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Very nice. I love the smokiness, the small amount of smokiness combined with the cleanness. Absolutely would be based upon Isu Super Hedione. I mean, kind of all modern perfumery is, so it goes without saying. Ambry, it's sort of sweetening up as it's drying. So it's drying up, you're getting this sort of dry sweetness to it. Great projection, very surprised. Onto my final thoughts. I kind of love this. I'm gonna be very honest with you. I love the smokiness, and that is the glackwood and the cyprol. The cyprol can be used to create oud chords, but it can also be used to sort of mm, darken a formulation without making it too heavy. Smokiness, patchouli. I think this is totally unisex, and it's kind of smells classic and timeless to me. It doesn't smell like it's trying to be very up to date, you know, got this crazy sort of sweetness to it. It's not sweetened you know, crazy. It's kind of a classic timeless. I can imagine this being around for, for a long time. I love the sweetness in it. The sweet cleanness, it's beautiful. That is the lily of the valley. So this has been handled, you know, really well, excellent. Go for my marks with you. Safe local compliant, absolutely. I mean, big house like this, dominant in the EU, you're absolutely gonna get that. Uh, the price, I think it's excellent. The longevity is very good. The projection is excellent. I keep smelling it. The siage is beautiful. That's really good. Do I like it? I love it. I think it's beautiful. And I think sometimes it's nice to have all these sort of crazy things that do all this crazy stuff. But sometimes I think it's really nice to have beautiful classic perfumery. And I think there's a space for everything within perfumery. There's a space for naughtiness. There's a space for going out and having fun and all this kind of stuff. And then there's space for something which is just timeless, beautiful, classic. I love it. I think it's very inspiring. I love the sweet note in the middle. I keep smelling it, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of, it's absolutely blissing me out. There are a few fragrances which kind of bliss me out and make me feel quite euphoric feeling and this is absolutely doing it for me. It's kind of very beautiful. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna mark it at 10. It's kind of like uh, beautiful. I'm getting, so this is the first fragrance I've done in a while where I'm getting all tingly, I'm getting tingly at the back of my head, I'm getting tingly down my legs. It's kind of, it's a, uh, yeah, beautiful, very well crafted, beautiful classic perfumery. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to view more from this house. I kind of love it. I thought it was going to be a little bit old fashioned. I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit old lady like. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of don't want to go into these reviews really slamming a, a fragrance. I don't want to do that anymore. I was a little bit apprehensive. I've got to be very honest with you, being a very old house, whether they would, whether it would appeal to me. But I would, I think this is a lovely total statement piece. Unisex. It's just radiant and clean. Absolutely beautiful. Very inspiring. 
So if you love that review, thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.